was a, a period of time, World War II, when we got back from the camps and went back to Seattle. I always remember it was a weekly event uh, when Lone Ranger was on TV and we're watching it on a six inch screen, round. Fourteen of us were allowed to watch it, you know, with our heads together. You know, so we all wanted to be cowboys, you know. And we all wanted uh, BB guns and, uh, because our parents wouldn't let us have it. I used to draw them. So it was like magic for me, you know, to possess them in that way. And I felt like I had the riches. I had more than anybody else in the neighborhood, you know, in my sketchbook. I didn't know what it was, to tell you the truth, to be, to be an artist, to be a painter. Um, in some ways, it, it, was, um, it was so unknown to me that, uh, you know, that's where the allure was. I wanted to be like them, you know, I mean, there was a particular teacher that I worked with, Alden Mason, that um, did paintings that I thought were, you know, miraculous. And uh, when I go to museums, I get a chill just, you know, seeing his work. What was the magic in his work that you picked up? Um, because I couldn't describe what it was. I couldn't describe in words the magic that I was seeing. You know, there was, there was something in the work that was uh, beyond beautiful and that could trouble me, you know, could ask more questions than provide answers, but was engaging. I, I always used to use the term, I couldn't see it even though it was right in front of me. You know, I couldn't comprehend what it was that I was looking at, but it was just engaging. You know, as hard as it was for my uh, side of, dad's side of the family to accept the fact that I was going to be a commercial artist, which, uh, you know, I, I probably might as well have said I was going to be a ditch digger, you know, or an undertaker or something like that. Um, it, it, it would have been as far off of his aspirations for me um, as anything. And, um, uh, you know, when I told him that I was, you know, after the great battle of, you know, being a commercial artist or not, and then saying, well, I decided that I want to be a painter, a fine artist, you know. And it was just met, you know, shaking his head, saying, oh, you know, my God, what what next? Yeah. So, and my grandmother was always a lot more uh, understanding and forgiving. I, you know, whether she truly understood what it meant to be an artist or not, I've always felt that you know she had an artistic soul to her, and I think a lot of the evidence about her life that has has revealed itself in the diaries and poems and songs that she's written. Uh, you know, sort of reveal that she had the, the soul of an artist. So I think that despite the fact that she wasn't very demonstrative nor expressive about, um, you know, what, what I was doing, what I chose to do, I always felt like she supported it, you know. And, and my dad, it was like, uh, you know, he'd go to my exhibitions and he'd look at the price tag, he wouldn't look at the painting. And uh, especially if there's a red dot on it, you know, and he said, oh my God, someone paid that much money for that, you know. And, and so that's the way that he became a little bit more forgiving of what I was doing, you know. When a person looks at a painting, every person should bring something different to that painting. It's, it's like shooting a shotgun, you know. You, you sort of want to spray and you know that part of what you're trying to get across is within that spray, but you're also hitting other things all around them. So you're perfectly willing to accept all of those things too, you know. The injection of my own persona in the composition carries with it a lot of meaning as, you know, the artist or, you know, the protagonist. And so Superman, as clear and crisp as that image is, I would hope that the audience would uh, read that in, in a particular way that, you know, associates me with all of the things that Superman stands for, that we hope for, and all that. And I think that everyone in, in this society has an immediate take as to what Superman represents to them. And, and as an artist, I sort of like to um, 
play all of those different meanings. You know, I'm just setting something up here for you to you know, play. The word I'm reacting or responding to is the one right there where the fierce looking samurai, we're not sure if it's anger, if it's just a pose. As someone who grew up in a household where rice was the central staple, cooking rice was a daily ritual, our daily bread, so to speak. So it makes perfect sense to me that, that, that a rice cooker needed to be protected. And who better to do so than the samurai narrative? <laughs> the print, of course, raises a few questions. Is this fierce man, fierce looking at any rate, bearing it as a gift to the woman behind the screen? A woman with a red glove applying makeup? Is she a Caucasian or an Asian or an Asian American? Is the samurai making a statement of defiance? Will he demand that she cook the rice? Yeah. Because I cannot picture a samurai undertaking this domestic chore. I never saw my father cooking rice, for instance, and at heart, he was a samurai. Perhaps the samurai is pissed that she hasn't cooked the rice, <laughs> and instead <laughs> is taking up with prettying herself. Something will happen when he enters that space, and the artist is wise enough to let us imagine what that might be. Thank you. When a person looks at a painting, every person should bring something different to that painting. And for the painting to complete itself, there's a cycle that comes out of both sides of the painting and is closed here in the head of the viewer. So depending on who steps in to close that circuit, the meaning of that painting is altered. You know? And I said, if you can get a lot of different responses to that, which is almost inevitable because everyone's different that looks at the work, you know, the richer the work becomes. But the minute you, f you figure, figure out what the painting means, it's over, it's dead, there's no reason for it to be around any longer.